good having such a big promotion in the North East. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's, um, there's a lot going on in, like, in, at local level now. And then this is the first one in a while that's been like a major international promotion. We had this, the Spoil for Choice, maybe the Cage is coming back, uh, Rise and Conquer is coming back. Uh, well, Rise and Conquer is still ongoing. Uh, Ian Freeman's doing really regular uh, machine shows, a great place for, for people to start. You know. So now here there's one, if we can get this to stick, that there's one to, to graduate to, which is uh, good news for everybody. All right, that's it. How was this fight camp? Yeah, out of this world to be honest. Um, it's been on point for about three weeks. Had to slow him down, if anything. So just just happy we're here now and, and ready to perform. What do you reckon to the venue? Yeah, it's awesome. I thought we was actually at the big arena across the road, and it was going to be a bit cold and a bit empty. But it's like a short, like a small, intimate arena with three thousand people, and I think we're going to go out to a raucous reception. You know, so. Uh, yeah, I, th I, th I like these mid tier arenas much better. It's like it's the arena feel, but you get like an intimate vibe as well. So fantastic. Sold out on tickets, I think they said today as well. Yeah, so I think by the time McGrillan comes on at, at nine o'clock, it'll be amazing. Speed. Power, aggression, slick movement, Yorkshire, yeah, the <laughs> share haircut, yeah. <laughs> Wig removals, mate. But since I got this, everyone have thought it's been so bald, to be honest, mate. So give me someone with a wig I can knock off, you know what I mean? But take this guy's beard off instead. second and third my worry was with us being the away fighter you know <laughs> you know Louis being the home fighter they, they'd get that bit of home advantage but I thought the volume in the second round were all us I thought Oscar were pushing the pace he was the one trying a little bit more throwing a bit more and then obviously the last round I thought Oscar dominated it um, so yeah I was I, I warned Oscar I said listen I think you've won but let's see what the judges think and Oscar said, split decision straight away, and they announced a split decision, so he was right. <laughs> What's that feeling like, seeing your fighter get the win? You know what? This one is a big one for me, because we knew... They, they chose Oscar, do you know what I mean? It's not like PFL put this fight together. They selected Oscar as an opponent. We agreed. Um, we knew... Oscar knew he was the underdog coming into this. He's fighting a guy with twice as many fat pro fights as him, more experience. Um, Oscar's not fought on any big big shows really, he's not had any big fights yet, um, so yeah we knew that we was the underdog coming into it and uh, we, worked, we worked so hard, you know, game planning, you know, watching tape, just worked so much stuff and it all uh, came together at the end, so for this one this is a really big win because of just the effort that went in to, to get it. I say it's amazing, I mean like, to fight on PFL is something I've always wanted to do, so the first fighter out on PFL Europe, I'm the first fighter to win. It's amazing, it's a good, good start to my uh, hopefully long career in PFL. <laughs> Before I got to the hotel the other day, like, everything I could have possibly done to win this fight, I've done. There's nothing more I could have physically done, so if I'd have lost tonight, I'd, I'd have gone home happy, because I knew I'd done my best. So, like, yeah, there were no doubts in my mind. Just nerves, because it's almost time to do you win. Like, you're going to get nervous, aren't you? But, yeah, no, I just, just, yeah, all ready for it. whatever the outcome. I did everything I could have possibly done. Maybe, maybe put the pressure on him a little bit earlier in the first, but at that moment in time, it's like, you know, like I said, the guy hits hard. You don't want to step forward and boom, you know what I mean? 
lo lose the fight just because of one stupid mistake. I'd rather lose the round than, than win it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was Jesus sick. Christ. <laughs> what a lad. Lewis what? a special kid. Yeah, it's man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was all sapping that energy. I knew I was going to be drained from the weight cut. So it's all just sapping that energy and trying to take everything out of him. But I didn't, I didn't think he was going to block as many kicks as he did because he's quite heavy on that front leg. So he just like turned it and blocked it nicely every single time. So I started having to chop the chop a bit of the calf a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it, it, were, it were good. I think, see I threw like 60 leg kicks or something. Yeah. I didn't realise I threw that many. <laughs> I looked at the stats after, yeah, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, but they had all the plan anyway. So, oh, it's sick win, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously the striker versus grappling coming into this, yeah. but did you feel like that striking, you know, Different thing was going to be so big, and obviously it, 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 it showed Chevrolet. Yeah, listen, mate. I told I told everyone I was going to knock him out in the first round, and I knew it. And I saw you in your other interview, mate, saying I've only fought nobodies and shit. He I didn't say nobody. No. You did, mate. You, I, did, you said I, I, said, I, I talked about the competition. Mate, listen, <laughs> listen, mate. Listen, mate. Don't talk shit about me. No, I did. So I, I had to knock him out because you, so you can apologise. <laughs> <laughs> you can apologise to him. I was talking about, about the competition. Uh, obviously, yeah, no, it was a big opportunity. I was. And I've, I've never felt as good in a fight camp to be honest, you know. I've really settled in at Manchester top team now um, and I'm, I'm ready to go all the way to the top. I'm really, really ready. Having people like Kane, McGrill and Dakota, staff, everyone like that in your corner and pushing you in the gym every single day, how much do you think that contributes to your development as a fighter? Massively mate, massively. You know, we've got, we've got a good team. We're all young, it's a very young team, you know. The gym's only be open, been open for years and we've got fighters in every major organisation mainly in the world, you know what I mean? So we're in there every day, we work together, there's no working against each other. We're a proper team and we all want to do want the best for each other, so yeah, that's a massive part of it. Uh, it's hard to describe, but I reckon I was just saying before. I reckon if you could put it in a bottle and sell it, you'd be the richest man in the world. So yeah, amazing. Do you know what I mean? Like we're on this journey together. We really like. We actually live together, so it's just good to see it all culminating in such a shot like that. And just something he deserves. We're very aware of what like, what his ceiling isn't. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't have a ceiling. It's like we, our expectations from him infinite. So just him to go out there and make a statement where everybody's watching and now everybody will know the name and remember the name. You know. After months of training, how, do you, how can you describe that feeling? Fucking sick, mate, to be honest. That's, that's the only way I can put it. I'm absolutely buzzing, mate. I mean, like, normally, you know, I win, I expect to win. That's it, you know, I, I don't get a massive buzz off it, but to knock someone out in that sort of fashion, mate, I'm, I'm proper buzzing. Like, that. like, it's been a while since I've put someone to sleep, so, yeah, buzzing, mate, buzzing. That's something you aim for every single time. Yeah, 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 absolutely, mate. I always, always look for, want to be an exciting fighter. I want to entertain the fans, so... Yeah, that's what we're here to do.